everyone. Um, I'm Mary Mancusi. You probably know that because you're on my YouTube channel, but in case you've uh, discovered this place by accident, I thought I would give a little introduction in this video and talk a little bit about my channel. I've had the channel for a while, but I never did like an intro and it's sort of been unorganized, just throwing up random videos when I had something to say um, or, um, you know, new books or book trailers and stuff like that. But I've decided to <laughs> start my new leaf and uh, use this channel more and talk to you guys directly. So, um, yay. Uh, all right, I want to start out by telling you who I am. For those who don't know, I am the author of about 25 books for kids, teens, and adults. Uh, some of the ones that you might have heard of, um, if you're here, is uh, Gamer Girl. Uh, this was a book I wrote quite a while ago. I think it originally came out in 2008, uh, but it's been around for a long time. It's been in classic book fairs, and so a lot of people know this book. So especially people who like manga and video games, uh, they are drawn to this book. Um, another book that you may know me with is the Scorch series. This is a trilogy. I kind of compare it to Terminator, but with dragons. <laughs> so imagine in the future there's a dragon apocalypse and these two twin brothers have to come back in time to our present day in Texas where this whole thing is starting. And uh, one of them is a dragon hunter and he believes if you destroy this one egg that's been unearthed from a melting glacier uh, that you can stop this whole thing. You know, dragons will be destroyed from the world if you destroy the one egg that makes them come about. Um, his brother is more of a dragon guardian. He belongs to a group that's kind of like the PETA for dragons. And so he believes if we save the egg, if we hatch the dragon, uh, we know so much more about dragons now than we did the first time around. Maybe we can treat it better. Maybe we don't have to clone it and use it as a weapon, um, you know, and abuse it and all the things that were done the first time around. Maybe we can actually save the dragon and then the dragon will thus save the world. So the girl on the cover, Trinity, uh, she is a present day Texas teen and she is in possession of the egg and these two boys are telling her opposite things to do uh, where uh, and she has to decide and the fate of the world is in her hands and all that sort of good stuff. Um, if you are interested in Scorch, there's a great trailer if you go down to my videos um, of the Scorch series that explains a little bit more about it. So very excited about that. Um, so that series is Scorched. There's three of them. There's Scorched, Shattered, and Smoked, and that continues the trilogy. Uh, and then I have a brand new book out. I'm so excited about this. Well, sorry, it's not out yet. These are the advanced copies. It actually doesn't come out till November, which is so far away. Ah. It actually comes out like the week of Thanksgiving, which is a really weird time to have a book out. Um, but at least, I guess, on Black Friday, everyone can rush to the bookstore and get it, right? Anyway, um, The Camelot Code is a story about um, a young King Arthur before he pulls the sword from the stone. In fact, the day before he pulls the sword from the stone, he accidentally time travels to present day uh, and uh, Googles himself, finds out his horrible destiny, like he becomes king, that's that's cool, um, but he actually, you know, has a terrible life. He's betrayed by his best friend and his wife and uh, is killed by his own son and, like, terrible, terrible things happen to him. And he's like, I want none of that. I am going to stay here where it's safe. I'm going to play on the football team and live, like, a normal 21st century life. But unfortunately, he has to be king or it's going to, like, change history forever. And so now it's up to Sophie and Stu, who are on the cover here, which I love this cover, by the way. Um, they have to go back in time and try to set history straight and use all their kind of 21st century gaming skills and pop culture references to uh, get everything back where it belongs. Or the world and history as we know it will change forever, including the existence of pepperoni pizza. I know, tragic, right? Like... No pepperoni pizza on the menu with this new timeline, amongst other terrible, horrible, no good things. So, uh, yeah, The Camelot Code is coming out in November of this year, and I'm really, really excited about it. It's from Disney. Um, there's no movie plans right now or anything, but I'm really hoping that they decide to make it into a movie. So get the book. That'll give it a better chance, right? Um, other than that, I am working on a new series called Dragon Ops, and I'm going to be telling you a lot about that in the coming months. I'm really excited about that one. It's also coming up from Disney, and it's kind of like a um, J Jumanji meets Jurassic Park. Uh, how's that? So there's the video game um, 
theme park, like an augmented reality video game theme park, and the kids get trapped in it, and everything comes alive when a dragon AI takes over the game and decides they that he wants to win at any cost. So that is what I'm writing right now. It doesn't come out till 2020, which is a million years away, but I'm um, super excited to do this one. So um, anyway, a little bit more about me. I live in Austin, Texas. I have a daughter who is in first grade. I have two dogs who are not here right now, usually sleeping like right over there. Um, not sure where they are at the moment. And um, let's see, I love gaming. Uh, obviously you can tell from a lot of my books have a gaming theme. That is because I am a gamer myself. Right now, um, I'm doing a lot of PS4 games. I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, there's my doggie. She just walked in, you can't really see her. Um, and uh, so, so I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I just finished Skyrim for the second time. Uh, I, I tried to stay a little more focused this time on Skyrim because, you know, Skyrim you can get really, really lost. I don't know if any of you played, but like it's such an open world and there's so many side quests and you could just like dive off into this little, like random thing for the longest time. And you're like, oh wait, I was supposed to do this other whole crazy big huge quest so this time I stayed much more focused and I did both of the quests uh, I was a storm cloak not imperial um, and uh, I did the dragon quest too of course and obviously I love dragons you know scorched and um, it's been something I've loved all my life so anyway um, yeah so I finished Skyrim again and um, I am moved on to zero horizon dawn horizon zero dawn oh my gosh I keep messing up the title on that one Horizon Zero Dawn, which is really cool. It, it kind of reminds me of The Last of Us and the style of game it is, uh, which was another game that I really, really loved. I mean, obviously the plot line is totally different, but the idea that it's kind of like a story game, you know, that you're going through the story. Obviously you have no choice but to stay focused in this kind of game. It's a little more on rails. And sometimes I don't like the on rails game. I'm like, oh, I want my actions to determine, you know, a specific outcome versus just you're going along for the ride with some fighting in between. But the storyline, if it's interesting, then it's something that I really enjoy playing. So anyway, I am totally going off track here. I'm making this way longer than it's supposed to be. Uh, and I'm gonna have way more videos to come with a lot more stuff like this and a lot of giveaways. Um, I have so much stuff to give away. I'm gonna give away free books. I'm gonna give away t-shirts. I wanna show you the one I'm wearing. I am a once in future geek. That's because the Camelot code is uh, book one is called The Once and Future Geek, and I am a geek, so uh, I had these t-shirts made. Um, so we'll give away t-shirts, we'll give away free books, uh, Amazon gift cards, lots of stuff, but you have to be a subscriber to win. So please go ahead and do what you gotta do, you know what to do, uh, like this video, subscribe, and I promise you I will have so much more to come in the coming weeks. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.